What does digitization of energy mean for Middle East producers or providers of energy? How is it going to change things and what what do they actually have to do to deliver that those right. benefits? So I like, you know, when I w the way I think about it, right? Every customer that we talk to, every country that we're talking to, a uh, couple of priorities for them, right? Number one, they're looking at um, uh, being more uh, efficient in terms of their operations, um, but the bottom line is they want impact on their their bottom line and and the impact of of savings. So, when you look at bringing GE's digital industrial together, why we did this is you're able to marry those two together and provide um, opportunities for savings. So both looking at the asset level as well as at a plant or a system-wide level um, to be able to provide the technical efficiency, if you will, and the operational. So when you think about it, we've, we've developed um, the first industrial platform, uh, which we call Predix. Uh, and and it's, it's a pretty, um, it's, it's open source, so uh, anybody can go in and, and actually uh, build an app that can sit on top of this platform. And what we've done is developed, uh, along with partners, customers, uh, applications that um, can provide if efficiencies uh, into their into their assets. So if I so if I'm signed up to the the um, the, the Predix app yeah. uh, or system, I get yeah. my and I run an electricity a power station. Yeah, I, I set an app up on there that's got the metrics, tracks the metrics from my asset. Mm -hmm. um, and, and GE provides the platform, and I can see how my turbines are performing, the efficiency and the output, etc. Don't I need a bunch of skills to actually use that data? So there's, it's all well and good having the technology and having the platform, but yeah. uh, you know this sort of the data it's science. Massive. Uh, it's you massive, know, right? Is the region set up to handle that? So sort of thing? is the world set up? <laughs> yeah. So the interesting thing, right? If you look at um, the average utility globally probably is producing about two terabytes of data and they're using about two percent of that on a daily basis. So the amount of data is massive um, mm. that's out there. The first step really is the, the assets. So if you think we call it our asset performance management, that's sort of the first layer. You want all of your assets to be connected and that gives you uh, visibility into, into your assets. That allows for more reliability, more availability. Um, if you then take it up to um, what we call operational optimization, those are applications that are providing uh, insights for the customer to be able to do things which would mm. increase efficiency in their operation, um, make certain trade-offs that they might want to look at uh, within their operation, what the impact of performance versus operation and maintenance of the plant might have. Um, you then take it to another level, which is business optimization, and that's really where you're trying to optimize your operations. If you're bidding into a market, you know what are the trade-offs that you would make, uh, and how, you know, would would let's just say the impact of of weather have into your trading cycle that you're going to go bid. Mm. So um, those those are sort of the three layers.